Hi, it's Mark Marmer from Signature Electric. So we're downtown at number one Bedford. We've got a couple of guests who are gonna join us this morning to talk about uh, some of the challenges of electric vehicle charging. This building's really taken some uh, major steps towards being able to accommodate electric vehicles throughout the whole parking garage. So we'll head inside, we'll take a look. David is the president of the board down here at One Bedford and was uh, really instrumental in getting things going with uh, electric vehicles in the condo. We're going to find out in a couple of minutes how that worked out. And I've got uh, Rob Adetokali. Uh, Rob and I know each other quite well. We've been working together for probably five or six years to sort of working through the process of, uh, of uh, electric vehicles and condominiums. You're at Crossbridge condominium services right. and your position is actually the manager of energy and sustainability yeah, so we were approached by a resident who had an EV and wanted charging he was the first resident who did and we had no idea how to go about doing it so we started looking around in the market we talked to a few experts um, and in the end we found a turnkey solution through a company called Evercharge mm -hmm. and uh, Evercharge was kind enough to come into the building do an assessment make a proposal for us and it hit all the marks that we needed and we went ahead and installed it. One thing we wanted was cost so we found some solutions are very cost uh, prohibitive so we looked at the cost to the resident to install the charger and to the corporation, so that was our main driver. We also looked at things like scalability, how many chargers could this system accommodate over time, was it a future-proof solution or was it a solution just for today. Some of the, the hardware that we're getting and some of the software is, is relatively new and it's just working its way through because of course electric vehicles were new and then the idea of managing to accommodate them in uh, in the states they call it MERBs, multi-unit residential buildings, here we call it generally condominiums, although uh, the same type of system or a similar system could work in a, an apartment building or certainly in a workplace, we have them in all kinds of different places. Yes, yeah, so we do know that a lot of residents are looking for EVs in the next four to five years as their cars um, come off lease and they want to upgrade. Um, so we know that the demand is in the building. Uh, the few early adopters are about one or two, uh, but we're, we're still happy to have. But the key was that we wanted to make sure that those people who came four to five years down the road had the option to have EV charging at with the very few barriers. You guys have done a great job here, so we'll, when we get down and we look at some of the nuts and bolts of it, people will get an idea. Um, thanks very much. Rob, not every building is one Bedford. We have a whole variety of buildings. We have a whole variety of populations in the buildings. Not everybody's got the budget to do what one Bedford was able to do. What's, what's been sort of the challenge in terms of uh, accommodating this? Sure. Yeah, there's, there's no question one Bedford is the gold standard in terms of the uh, the solution that they picked. I'd say the approach though is consistent regardless of the building to go in to analyze what your demand you think it's going to be and then gauge your um, your decisions on one of those approaches whether it's a network charging solution, community charging solution, level one solution, just balancing that for the building. If they can get the policy in place even if they don't actually do anything, but just make the decisions about what it is they're going to do. Get those three or four meetings, because things they take time when you have a, a group and you need a consensus. I know that we worked on a couple of policies. We had one from a while ago, and now some of the some of the options have changed. And so I know we have sort of a newer idea. Maybe get an idea of what kind of things that should be looking at on a policy, what kind of thing. Timeline. I'll, I'll give you full full credit. Uh, you you led, I'd say, this idea of of a policy and how important that is. That became a key fixture of our standard operating procedure at Crossbridge. The types of things that go in the policy addresses the largest challenge, which is managing the expectations of an EV owner with the shared reality of what a condominium is. So if you have things like establishing right up front in your policy that access to these charging systems is not going to be free, you're going to have to pay for your electricity, that we're going to manage the shared resource of the electrical capacity of the building to the benefit of all residents. As long as you get those things up front, that leads a lot to the communication, increases the, um, uh, the ability of people to know what they can buy, when they can buy it, in terms of timeline, I know a lot of our boards think this is fairly new and that they can wait. And the work that we've done, I'd say, means they can make that decision now, as One Bedford has done to set that stage, because it's a bit of a chicken and egg type thing. People say, well, we don't have many cars, so why would we consider this? 
and then when they do perhaps a survey, then they find out that there's a lot of interest, they get the charging system in, then one becomes two, becomes three. Yeah, you know what, we'll take some of these ideas, these ideas of power sharing, uh, billing, uh, infrastructure, this is all kind of hard to picture. I know that they, uh, when I get the phone calls from the condos, they don't quite get what we're talking about. So this is the beauty of coming here is that we have the opportunity to actually go down. Let's see what the switch gear looks like. Let's see where we're thinking about where our first steps are. Uh, so we're going to head downstairs and we'll, uh, we'll take a look, maybe the main electrical room first.